Must have been fishing when these monsters came. Bad luck. They can't hold forever. Come on! Blast your door right What? Stop! Not another stepper up! Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least, you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do in your head. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door, but I've barely made a dent in it so far. I can handle myself, but you're right. Time to try something else. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. No, unless you count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far. Just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Very little. Supposedly, those monsters breed by planting their tadpoles in people's heads. Over time, the infected victim turns into a mind flare. I don't remember how long it takes, but we should hurry. Lead the way. More of those wretched things.
vicious filth. Best keep some distance, or this will be a short fight. Survival isn't such a distant prospect. That's unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gale. Well met. Very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. Yes. The ocular penetration by an illithid tab pole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? Hmm. Pity. But that'll have to wait. The primary need now is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as ceramorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer, either. Powerful cleric, maybe? Hmm. Then we'll have to find one. And fast. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help. And I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together?
most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes, deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see. Survivors? Quickly, I'm trying to dig somebody out of the wreckage. Something so is wrong. Blood. They should be trying to get away if they had any sense. Come on, dig! Faster! Get her out of there! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! The person they're trying to save, it's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. Your voice cuts through the fog of confusion. You can see the creature's hold on them wavering. As its influence wanes, they clutch their heads, blinking in confusion. Where... where are we? There was... fire in the sky, and... and then... the voice... Oh, God, the voice! What happened? God... I... I think you're right. It called out from the wreckage. Sounded just like my daughter, but she's been dead for years. That thing got into our heads, drove us mad. We wrecked our boat just trying to get close to it. What do we do now? Not a chance. It's bloody driftwood. And we're in the middle of nowhere, and even... You. I can feel you. Just like one of those things. You're one of them! There's something in your head. Please, we'll take our chances out here. Just... just leave us be. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then, the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Hurry! 
I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. to keep that lovely neck of yours in one piece, hmm? Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did to us caused that link. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... Ha! <laughs> Of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. grunts and eyes you warily with its beady eyes. The boar shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness.
taking up the drink again. Maybe I should. Keep back. Back! You're just talking to yourself. Broken. Must have been here a while. Another broken trap. Who made these things? You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. chance we're uh, we're leaving come on move it you're more cunning than you look i thought we had a fight on our hands time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable <laughs> 